in the last video we have initialized prisma but in this database url we have to make two more changes first of all we will need to change this provider to mysql and then we will have to change the name of the database in our case it's e-commerce so now it's ready now in the schema.prisma we will create our first model we will say model user and in the user we will have id which will be of type int and it will be primary key and auto increment and default auto increment we will have name which will be of type string we will have email which will also be of type string and it will be unique we will have password which will be of type string and uh, what else like what else can we keep in the user we'll have address but it will go into the different database table so as of now we'll keep it simple if you'll need anything else we will uh, anytime come here and can add those fields but apart from this we need two more fields which is created at created at will be date time and its default value will be now so and apart from this we'll have updated at it will also be date time and it will be simply uh, updated at and we will map this model to the name of users now go into the terminal and we will say npx prisma my g r a t migrate dev and we will say name as create users table let's see if it's uh if it runs or not okay can't reach the database server local host 5432 okay i guess um, there is some mistake so let me check the connection again we'll close this okay we'll say local host i guess it was working fine initially password is password connect yeah so root and password let me see if i have made any typo in the password root password okay so yeah the port is wrong 3306 now i guess it should work let's see yeah now it's in sync uh, let's reload the database we'll first choose the database we have e-commerce and you can see that we have this user stable so fine now in the next lecture uh, what we will do is we will try to create separate routes so earlier like in the course previous course section we used to define all the routes in the index.ts but now since we have already seen we have this routes folder so we will split the routes based on different modules so we will have separate route for route file for users separate route file for products cart and orders so we'll see how to do that so in the next lecture we will set up that and then we'll proceed to creating a login api so see you in the next lecture.